today we are going to do figure drawing. Figure is like another word for person in art. When you're drawing the body. And we're going to practice drawing bodies today. And you get to draw them in all sorts of cool ways so you don't have to spell your persons like this. You can draw them doing anything you want. And to start with, I have some images on my computer. This is a drawing made by a student. Now what can you tell me about this picture here? Yes? He's moving. He's moving. Why do you think he's moving? Yes? He's a cowboy. Oh, he's a cowboy. How do you know he's a cowboy? By the the what? His clothing. Oh, his clothing. So they added some details. Yes. He was going to be a Viking, but they erased the horns on his hat. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. You can see where this student didn't do all of their erasing clearly, and I think maybe it was going to be a Viking. So today, you're going to be doing it the first time, and then if you like this way of drawing people, you can keep doing it. And you might have your own way of drawing people, too. And so if you already have a way of drawing people that you like to draw them, then you will have your old way and the new way. Okay? Yes? Uh, the picture is sketched. It's sketched. I like how you use that word, sketch, because we're going to be using pencils today. Yes? I, I just noticed that yeah. maybe the horns, he wasn't going to be a Viking, because maybe it was going to be a bull, because there's a bull under the guy. Oh, so basically you're thinking of what other things might be going on in this, the picture and the story. I like that because right now he has a lot of details, but we don't see where he is or, what, or, uh, or any other clues around him for what he's doing. So that's a next, great next step. Now, I'm going to show you another picture. Do you know this picture? Yeah. What is it? Oh, I heard a lot of people, lots of people raise their hands. One more time, everyone. Mona Lisa. Who's the artist for it? You guys know? Leonardo da Vinci. Everyone? Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so this is like the most famous painting in the world, right? Well, in order to paint this, he did a lot of practice. Let me get the He practiced drawing people. Not just on the outside, but on the inside too. So this is one of his sketches. So what is he sketching? Mona Lisa. Yes. Ah, the body parts, the rib cage. And so he's drawing inside the body to know what goes outside the body. And here, what is he drawing? Muscles. So we don't even have any clothes on, right? But. You need to know what's going on with the bones, with how everything sticks together, and with the skin over the bones before you can put clothes on. So we're going to be working simpler than Leonardo da Vinci was today. But we're going to be using anatomy. Anatomy is how the well, what the, who knows what anatomy is? Yes? The bone structure. Ooh, I like that. Bone structure. There's more to it, but that's a very big part of it. And I like that word structure. Yes? Muscle structure. Ooh, bones, muscles. It's how all the parts of our body fit together. And you're using excellent words to explain that. And so we're going to be use ana using anatomy in art class. Very simple anatomy. Um, but we're going to use that. But another thing that we need to figure out is how big the different parts are. Because if you draw a person, whoa, does this person look real? No. no. Why not? Yes. Because he has huge hands, huge arms, a humongous body that won't fit in his head. His head is probably the size of a mouse. One of his feet is small, and the other one is like an elephant. So, this quick drawing I did, he is out of proportion. He doesn't have things the right size. And so today, we're going to 
find a way to draw it so that our body, all the parts of our body are the right size. So we're going to use proportion. Everyone say proportion. 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 So proportion is how big something is compared to something else. Today, you're going to be a pro at proportion. So here's a question for you. How can you measure your body? Yes. With a ruler. That's a great idea. What's another way you can measure your body? Yes. Tape measure. A tape measurer. How about another way? Eyes. Hmm? Eyes. With your eyes, just sort of guessing? Yeah. Huh. Guess well, somewhere. how about if you don't have a ruler, you no. don't have a tape measurer, and you want to be more exact in using your eyes? What could you use? Yes. Go up to the wall. Ah, that's, that's, you could basically just use the wall. Okay, I am this tall. But we want to think of what is something we can use to measure. Yes. Another figure? Hmm, another person. I like these ideas. Find something that you already know the size of, as in, like, um, compare it to, like, your arm or your leg. Hmm. What's a something? What's a something you could use? So, like, that chair is, like, six feet tall. Okay, well, let's see. How many chairs tall are you? Come here. <laughs> Let's see how many chairs tall he is. So, one. Now, we have to remember this line. Can you put your finger right there? Oh. Not even two. One and three. One and one fourth. One and three fourths. One and seven eighths. One and one fifth. Three fourths. Three can measure with a book. Yeah. Two and we could use a book. Okay. Oh. You come here with your book. Whoa. Who can show me how how, yeah. how many books tall is she? Seven. Who can help? Who's gonna help? Oh, okay. Oh. You're right here, quickly. So how many books tall is she? Okay, let's go. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven.
We've looked at how our head can be used to measure our body. And now we're going to do that in a drawing. I'm going to draw a person where this is how tall their head is. This is my unit. Do you know that word? Yeah. Okay, good. So, my head is going to be that tall. Oh, it's going to make me a little messy. Maybe I'll use the side of it. So that's how tall my head is going to be. My body is going to be two heads. Okay, so I've got one, two for the body, one for the head. So I remember that's the head. I'm going to draw the head. Now this is actually head and neck. That's how I'm going to do it. So do you see how I made the neck there? Hmm, my person, did I make his head circle or oval? Circle. Circle. Some of you, your heads are more circular, some of you are more oval. Everyone is different, so you think about how you want to draw your head. But now, I need to make this person doing something. Let's see. I'm going to do... So, I am drawing oops, the legs. The legs are one unit, and then I have a, it where it bends, two units. You see how I am drawing? So, what did I draw? Yes. Someone jumping? Maybe someone jumping, we don't know yet, yes? Someone falling backwards? Now, does this look like a real person? No. What did I draw? A stick figure. I drew a stick figure. Who here can draw a stick figure? Okay, good. So, but I drew it a specific way. I used a unit. So my head and neck was one unit. My body was how many units? Two. My arms? Two. One, but don't forget there's an elbow. Remember where your body bends. So this is like our skeleton, okay? So. We have the skeleton, very simple <coughs> skeleton. Now, what do we have where our body moves? What are these special things that we have? Yes, joints. Joints, thank you. What are some joints? Tell me the joints. Elbow. I heard elbows. I put circles Knees. on the elbows. Knees. Knees, okay. Neck. 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 Waist. Waist, okay, <laughs> hips. I'm gonna do a bigger circle, because what's bigger, my hips Shoulders. or my knees? Hips. Yes. Hips are bigger, so I've got hips. What are some other? Shoulders. Shoulders. Necks. <coughs> your neck. neck joint. Neck. You know, your neck's very small, so I'm not going to do that yet. Hmm? Wrist. 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 Ankle. Ankles. Okay. And oh. you know what? Because my chest is very large, I generally put one more oval here. Make it a pretty good What's size oval. Head? Okay, so we have the skeleton. We have some joints. Now what else do we need? Muscles. Muscles. Now where do the muscles go? How do your how do your muscles work? They go everywhere. They go everywhere. They stretch. But how do they move your bones around? Do they? Now if I'm gonna put a muscle on here, should I put it like that? No. How should I do it? How about if it goes from joint? To joint. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you can decide if your person has little muscles or big muscles. That's up to you. So, see how I am adding body worker. Yeah. Muscles. Now, what does he need? Feet. Oh, don't forget the neck. See, now I'm in the neck. And he needs feet. And a face. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Hands. Whoa. And right now I'm just doing simple hands. I'm not worrying about all the things. Whoa, cool. Maybe later. Whoa. So now you have you have what do we have here? We've got the skeleton. And then we added the joints. Then we added the muscles. Oh, the face now. And we've got hands and feet. Now face, this is where you start erasing. This is where you start taking away the parts that, if they're inside, maybe we don't see it. Now, so that you can see what I'm doing, and I've been drawing large, I've been using this pen here. What are you going to be using? Pencil. Pencil. You're sketching. You're sketching. Now, since you're going to be erasing a lot
lot of your life, how do you think you're going to use your pencil? Yes. Lightly. Lightly. Okay. And I'm going to walk around, and I'm going to see how lightly you're doing it. And I'm going to sort of do a little bit more of a demonstration as I walk around, since I was working big and not in pencil. And of course, the last thing here, after I get rid of all the lines I don't need, what am I going to do? Face. And what else? Details. Details. Clothes. Clothes. And how about, is he an astronaut? Shoes. Is he an astronaut? Is he brown? What is he doing? You're going to show me. You're going to tell me what he or she is doing. So you get to decide if this person, I mean, I don't know if this person is doing Taekwondo, or if this person is dancing, oh, or what? Yeah. <laughs> it's Jackie Chan. So, it's not leaves. I want you to think, in your mind, quietly, close your eyes, and think in your mind something that you like to do where you are moving your body a lot. Something, if you like to play soccer, if you like to dance, if you like to run, maybe it's something very different. Now, when I say go, you're going to stand up and I want you to show me that shape with your body so that you can feel in your body. Are your arms up? Are they down? What are they doing? So picture this in your head first. What shape will your body be? And then when I say go, you're going to stand up and you're going to show me. Careful with your chairs. And when you're in that position, I'm going to say freeze. I want you to sit, stay frozen. Go. Now, carefully, without moving your body, just look around a little bit and see other people's ideas. Because you might get even more ideas. Oh. Wow, we have one person who was How body was way down it? like that. <coughs> wow, okay, so that's a little hard to do right now, but you have the picture in here. Okay, stop. Sit down. Does everyone have an idea? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to give you paper. I'm going to give you a little square here. This is going to be your unit. 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 Now, some of these are not perfectly square. They have a long side and a short side. You get to decide. And you get to decide if you want your paper vertical or what's we call it if it's this way? Hamburger. Uh, uh, or horizontal. I like, I like, I like the other way. Hot dog hamburger. But vertical and horizontal. Now, remember to, you make enough room for your whole body. I love how all my examples, I made the spine straight. But is our spine always straight? No. No. So, he added just a little bit of a spin to the spine because that's what his person is doing. So I love that. Great thinking with that kind of thing. Ah, forward. That's really cool. That's when you start doing full yeah. short yeah. arms. So, look at my hand like this. How long does my arm look? Uh, short. It looks really short. So that's something that if you want to try it, think about that. So if I'm throwing a punch at you, then you can only see a little bit. That's a, that's a complex. So that's a very complex thing. So that might be if I'm like this policeman saying, stop. You might only be able to see a little bit of my arm. It might not be like that at all. See, that starts to look, maybe I just have a little bit of the arm. So see, maybe you can see a little bit here. So the best thing to do for those sorts of things is to look at a real body. This is a guide, and then you change it to make it even more. Okay, so those are some of the complex challenges that you're asking me about. So thank you very much. You have been working so hard and asking such excellent questions that I would like to give everyone a chance to see what is happening in this classroom, to get ideas, and if you have a challenge, if you have a problem you're trying to work out, you might see how someone else solved that challenge, okay? So what we're going to do 
is we're going to do a short gallery walk. So what that means is that you will have your picture on your table. You're going to, when I tell you, you're going to stand up, have your eye, your hands behind your back. Look with your eyes, not your mouth. And you're going to look for some things. What are some things that you think you should look for in everyone's pictures? Yes? Techniques of like how to draw a lot of people. Ah, uh -huh. techniques for how they do, uh, so putting lots of people on the page? Yeah, so you don't have to go through the entire steps over and over and over again. Ah, so how they took maybe found shortcuts. They understood yeah. and then decided to do, take shortcuts. I like that idea. What are some other things that you're going to look for? Yes? Like details, like how they got something to look more realistic than you did. Ah, especially maybe, what, were you, what was hands. your challenge? Hands and feet. That was her challenge. So you can look for hands and feet. How did they solve that? Anyone else have any things that they want to look for? The structure of how they did the background and the face. Oh. oh, excellent. So, I think looking for, if you have a challenge, look for how they solved the challenge that you're looking for. And I also want you to look and see what interesting choices people made. That's something I want you to pay attention to. What interesting things did people decide to do? And of course, look how, for how they use proportion and anatomy. anatomy. Okay, and then we're going to do the gallery walk. We're going to talk about what we saw, and that will give you a chance to think about what to do in your picture next. Oh, one more thing. People are starting to do background. Some people haven't started. Is that something else cool to look at, mm -hmm. to think about? It's not even the person, but it tells us where the person is. Yes. My background is sort of plain, but he's in a cave. What else do you expect? You know what? Sometimes we're Don't inside, we. sometimes we're outside, and I can see how yours is coming together. It will be an excellent example for one way of doing the background. Okay. I see hard work and people doing an excellent job all over this classroom. So we're going to please put your pencil down. Make sure that everyone, when they walk by, they'll be able to see your picture. So is your pencil on your person? Is that going to work? Pencils down. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do, I'm not going to tell you which way to go, but I want you to make sure that you see every picture. Are you using your mouth? No. 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 Are we pointing at the pictures? No. No. Hands like this. Please move calmly, slowly. You may go. Let me start. So what were some interesting choices that you saw in these pictures? Yes. Can I say something about mine? Okay. What was an interesting choice that you made? I decided to use a bunch of little people background rather than actually making each individual one. Just use a fence post sort of thing with a circle on top. Ah, different, so it's little small things of drawing a crowd? Yeah. Cool, and do you think you could add little details to some of those people? Like not every detail, but a couple details? That's an excellent, interesting choice. Yes. There's different positions of how people were. Neither of them were beginning something. There's a different. I do see so many different positions. Yes. One showing like action movement. Ooh, did we have some lines in here? I don't know if I even saw any, but, but I, I remember talking um, about them. One person. Um, hitting that was about to hit a volleyball, I think it was Josiah's. Yeah. Behind the volleyball, there is lines to show that the volleyball is moving. Excellent. I love it. That's a great way to add the feeling of motion to your picture. What other interesting choices did you see? I see lots of So, you didn't raise your hand, but what, what you saw? A person moving weights, boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bunching bags, soccer, football. So many different ideas. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Um, can I say two people specifically? Okay. Um, I noticed that Sydney and Sakai's were in positions that I wouldn't even think of. Wow! So walk around. Did you get more ideas? Maybe even not for this project, but for another time? Yeah. I think so. What did you see? Uh, details. What sort of details? What details did ca caught your eye? Um, like background details. Ooh, thank you for talking about that. Who got some ideas for their background? Couple people, couple hands. Little bit. Still thinking on how to use the background, right? You got some pieces of ideas, but it's not all there yet. That's part of the process. Yes. Are mm -hmm. oh, you just saying, yes, I got some sauce and background ideas? Yeah. Excellent. And so, what did you notice about people's backgrounds? How did they express their backgrounds? Some, like, one, I think, like, she shaded. Oh, I love that, because we're just doing pencil today. These would be great to do full color, but today's just pencil. So, doing shading, so you have different values, dark and light. I see that starting to happen. That's Wonderful. Great work. And I love how people are starting to get back to work with all their new ideas.